Good morning, my friends. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today, we are gonna take a look at my ab routine, my ab workout, um, some of the things that I do for abs, some of the principles that I use when training abs, and some things that I think people just don't really talk about enough when they're talking about training abs. Um, gonna kind of demystify it a little bit. Um, but first, I do wanna do a little bit of housekeeping. Um, number one, the channel's growing, which is fantastic. We're almost to 30,000 subscribers. I say we, I do this by myself. There's no we, um, but we're almost to, I'm almost, <laughs> I did it again. I'm almost to 30,000 subscribers, which is really cool considering this was never a plan. Like this was never a goal. Um, this is just kind of a really cool bonus. Um, but, uh, with the channel growing, the views on videos are going down, like way down. Um, so that is something that I want to ask you guys. I want to know, what do you guys want to see? Because if I'm doing videos that you guys don't care about, who, who is that bit of thing? Um, I always want to make videos that I want to do, but I also want them to be informative. I want them to be helpful for you guys. Where's a good boy? Um, and I want you guys to enjoy it. Um, so I want to know, what do you guys want to see? Um, leave it in the comments. Uh, be sure to like this video. If you haven't already subscribed, do subscribe to the channel. I really do. I'm inspired to do more for this channel because I'm seeing it grow. Um, so that's kind of cool. So do subscribe, um, share the video, like the video, comment, let me know what you guys want to see. So without further ado, we are going to get into my beliefs when it comes to training abs and an ab workout. Ah, I told a dirty, dirty lie. We're not ready to start the video just yet. I do want to take a minute to thank Wismo. Wismo is a company, they're not a sponsor. This is not a sponsored video, but they did send me a product that they asked me to use in this video and frankly is the reason that I'm doing this video. Um, they make exercise equipment and they sent me their yoga ball. Now, I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. A yoga ball is never something I considered a necessity for a home gym, but now that I have it and now that I use it, I kind of can't picture my home gym without it. Um, I use it for like a myriad of things that I didn't even think about. I use it in a substitute for a bench for like dumbbell flies or like a dumbbell press. I use it for abs, I use it for crunches, I use it for leg raises, I use it for Russian twists, I use it for hyperextensions, like just a ton of things that I can do. And, and I use it as a chair. That's probably what I use it most for if we're being realistic. Holy shit. Look at these colors, man. Look at these colors. My God. Fall in LA. It's a myth that it doesn't actually happen. I don't know if this video is doing it justice, but it is gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Anyway, I probably shouldn't have said that in the middle of my um, product discussion, but hey, caught me by surprise. Um, Anyway, yeah, I use it for a chair a lot. Um, it's great for your posture if you're sitting at a desk a lot and typing a lot, which is what I do basically every day. Um, so I, 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 I would have never told you guys to go out and get a yoga ball before, but now that I have one, I gotta say, put it on your list, add it to the home gym setup. Um, you can get the Wismo yoga ball, it's a cheap yoga ball, it's a good yoga ball, it's easy to pump up, thank God, this can be a pain. Um, and you can use my discount code and buy it on Amazon. Super easy, free shipping for Prime members, so that's super cool. Anyway, that's all I gotta say about that. I'll show you how I use it in the video. And I'm not gonna spend too much time with this before we get into the workout, but there are some things that if you're someone who's struggling to get abs, uh, there are things that you should know. And unfortunately, there are things that people don't really talk about enough. Um, so we're just going to dive into a couple of those. There's so many, so many good videos on YouTube about how to get abs and like secrets to getting abs and things like that. 
The problem is a lot of them are basically like 15 minute commercials for a product. And the number one thing that I can tell you, uh, the number one hack, the number one tip, the number one uh, piece of information that I can give you is to not buy anyone's product that says this will give you abs. Don't buy fat burners. Don't buy these like thermogenic things. Don't buy these, these workout programs that are guaranteed to give you abs. Like anybody is like, this is my ab book. This is my ebook for abs. Like don't buy into that, man. Don't waste your money. Look, the thing about training abs is it's not about the training. It's really not. Um, it is about getting your body fat to like sub 12%, sub 10%, sub 6%, depending on how much definition you want in that area. And it's as simple as that. There's no exercise that's going to give you abs. There's no amount of crunches you can do. There's no like time limit on a plank that you can work to. I mean, all that's great. Sure. But they're not going to make them show. The thing that you have to remember is you have abs. You have abs. You have a six pack. You might have an eight pack. It depends on your genetic makeup. Um, but they're there. They're just underneath a layer of fat. That's it. You have to get rid of that fat if you want your abs to show. And a lot of people seem to take advantage of the fact that uh, people want the easy way out. And there is no easy way out. The easy way out is a calorie deficit. Like eat at a caloric deficit. Figure out your maintenance. Eat at a deficit. Just a few hundred calories, couple hundred calories underneath maintenance. That's a deficit that will give you abs. Um, nutrition, nutrition, nutrition. Find a meal plan that works for you. That's, that's the easy way to do it. Um, the hard way to do it is to buy into these programs, spend your money on these supplements and really just spin your wheels waiting for your abs to show and you're really never getting anywhere. It's extremely frustrating and I hate that people spend so much time doing it. Um, but nobody wants to diet. So that's something else entirely. The second little tidbit that I can give you is in regards to a diet. Don't kill yourself on a diet. Like, yes, nutrition and lowering your body fat is the only way to get abs. That's the only way to do it. But the idea that you have to eat seven egg whites in the morning and a cup of plain oatmeal and then a protein shake and then chicken, rice, and broccoli and then another chicken, rice, and broccoli and then another protein shake and then your vitamins and then for dinner you have to have like you know, tilapia and broccoli. Like, I've done that, man. I've done that and it sucks. It sucks. It's not fun. Um, it really sucks the enjoyment out of dieting. Does it work? Yeah, it works. It works. It, 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 that, it, that is one approach that does work. But it works. It works for bodybuilders. You know what I mean? It works for people that have a goal to step on stage and to look a very certain way. Now, if you're just somebody who wants to build a bit of muscle and somebody who wants to look, you know, like an athlete or, you know, someone who wants to be a little bit more defined and you're not wanting to compete, I don't think you need to do that kind of diet. Now, here's the catch. I've been training... I started training when I was 17. So I've been training for 10 years now, like really training for 10 years. So I've been really big. I've been really lean. I've been really big and not lean at all. And now I'm to a place where I don't have to do that much to maintain things. So there is, you know, there is part of me, while I don't think you have to go as extreme as I went, you do have to diet. You do have to get on a nutrition plan. 
the thing that I want to impart upon you is find a nutrition plan that you like. Find a nutrition plan that works for you. Find something that's not going to make you dread every single meal that you eat and make you just constantly look forward to a cheat meal. That's not the way to do it. There are other ways to do it. The next thing I want to talk about is cardio. A lot of people think that cardio is the end-all be-all to burning fat and getting abs. Can we just call it burning fat because burning fat leads to getting abs? I'm tired of saying abs. Um, cardio is the end-all be-all to burning fat. It's not. It's not. It's part of it, but it's not the end-all be-all. The end-all be-all is a very simple equation. It's calories in versus calories out. So you need to be consuming less calories than you're burning. So you want to be burning more calories than you're taking in. Simple, right? It doesn't matter what you're eating. We'll talk about that in a second. Wow, that car was so close to my car. Wow, that was scary. Um, but uh, you need to be burning more calories than you're taking in. Very simple. doesn't matter what you're eating. If your goal is to lose weight, doesn't really matter what you're eating. You just need to be burning more calories than you're taking in. That's where cardio comes in because cardio is a great way to burn extra calories. I think a 10,000 step a day plan is great. I got that from Will Tennyson. Um, I spend about an hour and a half a day walking. Um, I go on a walk in the morning, which I just got back from just now. Um, and I go on a walk in the evening. Um, that's, that's how I do it. Um, there are some days when I don't get to do both, but that's the easiest way to do it. I'm not somebody who like hops on a Peloton or, you know, kills myself on the Stairmaster or anything back when I had access to a Stairmaster. Um, I don't do these like hit circuits or anything like that. I just like to walk um, and it helps burn an additional calorie, you know, a few hundred calories. And I'm great with that. Some people need a little more. Some people need a little less. Some people don't have time for that. So they need to like have these quick bursts. Um, my best advice is find the time to go on a lengthy walk during the day. Wake up a little earlier. Go for it in the evening. But just remember, cardio is not the end-all be-all. It's just part of the equation. I also, I just want to clarify something really quickly. I said it doesn't matter what you're eating. In theory, you could eat a McDonald's Big Mac meal every day and lose weight if that was all you were eating, right? Because it's about what? like It's like 500 calories for a Big Mac. God, that sounds good. I haven't had a Big Mac since I was in college. It's been a while. Um, but you could eat trash, basically. No offense, McDonald's, but... Um, you could eat trash basically and still lose weight if you're not hitting those calories. If, if, if you're still under your caloric maintenance level, if you're still a deficit, you can eat garbage and lose weight. The problem is you're not going to maintain any muscle doing that. That's where you have to get into macronutrients. That's where you have to make sure your proteins, your fats, and your carbs are in a good place. That's where you have to make sure you're getting enough fiber from vegetables and that's where you need to have your leafy greens and, you know, protein, protein, protein for gaining muscle. So, yes, you want to eat at a deficit, but you want to eat at a healthy deficit. You don't want to just eat less calories. You want to eat better calories, more nutrient-dense foods. So that's where the idea of a nutrition plan comes in. I think you already knew that, but maybe you didn't. Maybe you learned something. Something that's kind of funny that nobody ever wants to talk about, and I'm not saying this is going to get you abs, but it's definitely going to help with bloating. Um, if you're someone who bloats a lot after every meal that you eat, um, or you're someone who feels bloated a lot, uh, you need to poop. You got you to gotta take a poop. You got to be regular. Um, a lot of people, a lot of uh, clients of mine even, <laughs> they, they have these high protein diets and... Uh, that they're, they're not using the bathroom. They're not regular at all. They're getting constipated. And that leads to, it's not going to necessarily take away from definition in your abs, but it's going to make you bloated. It's going to make you like swollen and your waistline is not going to be as tight. If you have a high protein diet, you got to find the fiber. You got to be able to get fiber in. Um, 
being regular is something that I didn't really understand until like a, a couple years ago, but it so helps your waistline stay like really tight. Just in the morning, waking up, having a cup of coffee, doing your business. That, I mean, that keeps you tight. Now, I, I'm not saying like if you're, you know, trying to lose 30 pounds, I'm not saying being regular is going to mar miraculously help that melt off, but it'll help. It'll help. And uh, it's done wonders for me. Just saying. Uh, Trifola, not a sponsorship. I don't know what brand you can get, but Trifola, it's a naturally derived powder. It's not like a chemical or anything like that. It's not like a laxative, but my God, does it work? And it tastes horrible. I recommend getting the pills, but it works really well to like help keep you regular. One of my best friends in the world um, used to tell me that his morning routine was 20 air squats, a cup of coffee, and smoking a cigarette. And that apparently kept him regular. So you got to do what you got to do. I'm not, a, I'm not a smoker, so that's not necessarily something I'm going to do, but I prefer the Trifla method. But if you think about it and you realize, oh, I'm kind of sporadic, I'm not really, I don't really have a schedule, get a schedule. It'll help. These are just a couple things that I wish somebody had talked to me about a while ago. Things that I wish uh, everybody knew things that I wish people talked about more. Just simple stuff that you can do. Um, hopefully you learned something. Maybe it's stuff you already knew. Anyway, let's get into the ab workout. Um, when I when I approach an ab workout, and I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you, I don't do them often. I do them maybe once a month. Um, I rely entirely on nutrition uh, to keep my abs where they are. But I do still train them at least once a month. I always focus upper abs, middle and sides, lower abs. So I want to hit something that's going to hit the transverse abdominis that's going to like kind of ruffle your feathers and your like serratus and things like that. I want to focus on something that's going to get the top. I want to get something that's going to get the bottom and kind of like work on the V shape and stuff like that. So a, a really simple way to do it is crunches, Russian twists, leg raises. That's going to hit every single part. Um, we're going to do a little bit something a little different today. We're going to do a few more exercises than that, but, um, sorry, there's a really cute dog. We're getting a dog soon. I'm very excited. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take you through the workout. I don't like to do reps on abs. I like to set a timer and just go. Um, so 35 seconds on each exercise and, uh, go through one round of like four or five exercises and then go through another round, 20 seconds. Um, and that's basically it. It'll be really simple, it'll be really fun, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, so here we are starting with the Wismo Yoga Ball. Like I said, I would have never known that I needed this, but it really comes in handy for abs. Um, so as you can see, it's like it, that's that's the second one in, in the box. It comes really easy, super easy to uh, put together, super easy to pump up. But uh, we're gonna use this uh, throughout just to give you a little size comparison. I'm about six feet tall, maybe a little bit over, but uh, it's the perfect size for me. That's the medium size. Okay, so starting out, we are starting with crunches. Now with crunches, notice my chin is going towards the ceiling. This is to work the upper abs. So I want you to think about while you're doing these, think about taking your top two abs and pulling them as close to your pelvis as you can. It's just about contracting those top two muscles, getting a really nice flex, and then releasing, and then going again. You don't want to use your hip flexors. You don't want to use your back, just the top of your abs. Next, I don't really know what to call this. There's a bunch of different names that people have. Um, I just call it a, a pass or a ball pass. Uh, but basically what it is, it's a crunch and a leg raise in the same movement. Essentially a dead bug. You're getting a very similar movement, but we'll do dead bugs later. I love the dead bug. But this is just something nice if you have a yoga ball to work your lower and upper abs. It's a little bit more interesting to me than just a straight leg raise, especially on a timer. Very, very challenging. Next is the Russian twist. 
again, using the yoga ball, it's really nice to just kind of like, it's think about like shifting your rib cage. And again, we're going for 35 seconds on the first round. I don't really like using reps, but this is a great exercise. Next is the heel touch. This is a great exercise. This works the top of your abs as well as your obliques. I like this better than like a, a Roman chair crunch or side crunch or anything where you're holding weight. Um, just that little shift right there gets so deep into your obliques and so deep into the top of your abs. Great way to finish the workout. Last is the dead bugs. Now, I like doing my legs at the same time for dead bugs. This is a really nice way to work your lower abs as well as your upper abs, as well as your transverse, like all at the same time. Uh, the key to this exercise is just going slow and controlling it, really getting that crunch, tapping your heels, crunching again. It's brutal. Hey, so I was editing this video and I totally forgot that I didn't film an outro. Um, I've gotten a haircut and shaved my face and gotten to North Carolina since I was recording that. So that's kind of funny. Um, Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. I hope it will help you uh, in your quest to get abs to lower your body fat. And uh, if you like this stuff, if you like this video and want to see more, please subscribe. Uh, like this video. Do the things. Just <laughs> whatever you got to do to know that videos are coming. I really do. I'm loving seeing this channel grow. Also, a side note. Uh, to all of you that have reached out about California Christmas, thank you. Thank you. It, it's, it means so much to me. Um, this is a, this is the little Christmas movie that could. We, we had no idea uh, when we were filming it that it was going to be number one on Netflix for an entire week. That's amazing. Worldwide. That is amazing. And uh, a lot of you guys made that possible for all of us. So um, obviously a huge thank you to Lauren and Josh Swickard. Um, and just the entire team that made that movie. It's so good. We're so proud of it. And to all of you that watched it, thank you. I hope you all have a happy holiday. Christmas is this week. If you celebrate Christmas, if not, I hope you are spending time with loved ones regardless. And um, yeah, I'll be back soon with more. Thanks, guys.